News Update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Elise Ramey. Here's a look at the top stories we're following tonight. Former President Donald Trump heading to Flint tonight to hold a town hall. The town hall will be held at the Door Financial Center, and it'll be moderated by Trump's former press secretary and current Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders. This is Trump's first visit to Flint since 2016. And Analysts say Genesee County is critical to winning Michigan, and we're told when he speaks to supporters tonight, the former president plans to appeal to swing voters. His campaign says he plans to listen to Michiganders and share his vision to make America more affordable again. Stay with TV5 as we continue to cover this story. A little girl is in critical condition after she was shot in Flint's north side. It happened Saturday night. Flint police responded to a report of a shooting on Marlowe Drive. When officers got there, they found the girl suffering from a gunshot wound. She was taken to the hospital where she remains in critical condition. No one is in custody. Continuing coverage now on a shooting in Saginaw last night. State police say a 29 year old man was shot at the bootlegger party store. That's on South Michigan Avenue at 830. He died at a hospital. Anyone with information is asked to call police or Crime Stoppers and a man faces charges after Flint Township police found 21 pounds of meth last week. The police department says Terrence Brock was arraigned on a felony charge of delivery, manufacturing a controlled substance and a habitual offender charge. He's out on bond. Flint Township police say the meth was found hidden in a children's toy box during a traffic stop Thursday night. They say the amount discovered is equal to 10, nearly 10,000 individual gram doses. And now here's Chris with your first alert forecast. Elise, it looks like low temperatures tonight are set to fall to the 50s once again, and we will have a chance for a little fog again early tomorrow morning, but it looks like Wednesday will take a bit of a step up with the fog compared to the last couple of mornings. This is just a simulation, so it's not exact, but what it does show is there's potential for some areas to have locally dense fog, so we do want you to be careful of that as you head out the door tomorrow morning. Temperatures eventually land in the 80s for the afternoon. It will be cooler to the east where some 70s will pop up. Your first alert pin Point Doppler radar is dry tonight and we expect it to remain the case tomorrow. Your hour by hour forecast shows just a few passing clouds after the fog from the morning starts to lift out. We've got plenty of sun on the way for tomorrow and our rain chances remain pretty low as we work through the next several days. We do have at least a better chance early next week on Monday and Tuesday. Friday's chance looks like more of a sprinkled chance, so I wouldn't get too excited about that one, but there is at least some reason for optimism early next week. Let's hope for those who need the rain that forecast holds remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news weather and information